Hi, in this video, I have collected for you 20 interesting games in which we will be sent to explore another planet, and I'll start with the Subnautica series. A research spaceship crashes on an uninhabited distant planet. The main character turns out to be the only survivor, and the planet looks like a huge bottomless ocean. Survival in such conditions is a difficult task, which we will carry out with the help of futuristic equipment and exploration of the depths of the mysterious ocean, the flora and fauna of which is simply stunning. The gameplay is a mixture of craft and exploration. We can collect various resources and minerals. From them you can create weapons, build a base and provide yourself with everything you need to survive. In the game, you can craft a bathyscaphe and explore the deepest places. But it is worth remembering about the air supply, pressure and dangerous residents who will not mind eating an intruder. Journey to the Savage Planet The local hero survived a hard landing on an uncharted planet. The ship is broken, around an ecosystem alien to man with many bizarre life forms. According to the mission, the hero has to collect as much data as possible and find a way to repair the ship. We have to look for secrets and secret places, as well as study the flora and fauna to determine if the area is suitable for humankind to live on it. It's an interesting journey through a layered, colorful world with crafting, exploration, and co-op. Barotrauma, multiplayer cooperative submarine simulator on another planet. According to the plot, people in the future went to the moon of Jupiter, but because of its radioactive surface, you can live there only in the ocean. Our task is, as one of the crew of the submarine, to go down under the thickness of the ice of the satellite and get acquainted with all the delights of the local flora and fauna. And the team will have to manage the submarine and quickly eliminate various problems that will appear not only due to realistic control, but also terrible alien monsters that will attack the submarine. Satisfactory. Here we will be sent to another unfamiliar planet where our main task is to colonize it by building multi-story factories and establishing production chains. However, the lion's share of the gameplay will take the study of the local open world. By the way, it is quite large here, and the planet is fraught with a lot of mysteries, and you can look at its beauty both on your own two feet and using jetpacks, transport, jump jumps and other means of transportation. And do not forget about the local creatures who are clearly against the colonization of their home. Factorio. 2D sandbox where you need to build and manage factories. The action takes place in an alien world in which we ended up by accident. Initially, we will have to survive and manually extract resources. However, Factorio will soon expand its boundaries. We will be able to create large industrial centers, pipelines, automated machines and robots that run on solar energy. Over time, the local fauna will aggressively react to the pollution of their native planet, and we will have to direct all industrial power to create various weapons and military equipment. Some may find Factorio too complicated, but if you immerse yourself in the development and management of your factory, then you can lose track of time and completely drown in this game. Astroneer, an original sandbox in an open world where we have to colonize planets, extract resources there, and create entire industrial structures. The plot is extremely simple. The 25th century is in the yard and humanity has entered a new gold rush, rushing to explore the expanses of deep space. There are no more specific tasks or storyline. Colonize and develop as you please. All space bodies, planets, are randomly generated here, and to improve them, we can use terramorphing changing the surface to suit our needs. RimWorld A sticky survival game in which we will have to build a base for settlers, develop technologies, repel attacks from neighbors and local fauna. You have to play as three characters who survived the crash of a spaceship on the edge of the galaxy and equip your own colony. The heroes have to trade, create various items, build a base, conduct research and fight. Each hero has unique abilities and character traits. A feature of the game is a randomly generated game world and an AI system that creates unique events and situations. We give out orders that the characters react to in different ways, leading to different storylines. 
The beauty of the game is that you can play almost endlessly, each time choosing different starting parameters and trying different survival strategies. Outer Wilds This ambiguous, changeable, and very atmospheric game will invite us to the Space Exploration Program, in which we will visit several different planets, solve many fascinating puzzles and try to break out of the time loop. In the center of the plot is a deep space explorer trying to uncover the secret of a lost civilization. The trick of the game is that the player has only 22 minutes before a supernova explosion occurs with the star, which destroys everything. Then the timer resets, and on each expedition we will explore wider and deeper, gradually collecting a picture of the extinct species that lived here before and kept the secrets of the universe. Scrap Mechanic Multiplayer Engineering Simulator According to the plot, the hero is a mechanic who was sent to a planet captured by robots. His task is to find all kinds of materials and spare parts in order to design his own army of robots and destroy opponents. The game world is randomly generated and stimulates the extraction of resources and the search for various tools. In the game, you can design many mechanisms, create walking robots, cars, helicopters, planes and much more. At the same time, all objects are subject to the influence of physical forces, and combining several parts can give an unexpected result. The Solus Project A great game for sci-fi lovers and survival adventure hunters on a distant planet. Somewhere in the distant future, our beloved Earth came to an end. Those who managed to escape went in search of a new home. Our hero crashes on an unknown planet. Only he survived. Now his task is to restore the radio transmission and call for help. But it's not quite as easy as it seems. This planet is full of dark secrets that are revealed gradually. The storyline is good. With each note slash document you read, you panic more and more because of the oppressive atmosphere and the feeling of persecution. Avon Colony, sci-fi city building simulator that will take us to an unknown planet where we now have to survive. To do this, we have to build a base, extract resources and oxygen, manage personnel and deal with adverse natural phenomena. And the game map here is a huge open area divided into a large number of different biomes fraught with dozens of various surprises and dangers for newly arrived colonists. Dig or Die Two-dimensional sandbox The protagonist crashes on a distant planet, and now his main goal is to survive and build a rocket to escape. We will have to dig the earth, extract resources, build a shelter, create various items and defend ourselves from wild creatures who prefer to attack at night, and each time they will become stronger. The necessary resources first lie on the surface, but over time, you will have to go deeper and deeper, design more complex mechanisms and fight more dangerous opponents. A feature of the game is that rain and underground evaporation can spoil our communications, and under too heavy a dead weight, some buildings can collapse. Deliver us the moon. Here the main character goes to the moon to save humanity from extinction alone. He needs to figure out what happened in the lunar colony and why the power supply stopped. There are no monsters here, and the main character is not armed with a plasma cutter, but the empty station hides terrible secrets. In general, this is an exciting adventure with elements of survival, in the plot of which various life topics are raised. The atmosphere of the moon rolls over great graphics, soundtrack and landscapes of the Earth's satellites stagger the imagination. Moons of Madness Fantastic horror, the developers of which did not present the colonization of Mars in a very positive way. According to the plot, we, in the role of an astronaut engineer, will explore an empty station where some kind of hell is going on. 
Here we have to explore the Martian base, hide from monsters and solve various puzzles with the help of computers, rovers and electrical systems. We will also be able to get out of the base and explore the dark side of the red planet, which hides quite a few terrible secrets here. Haven. The main characters a guy and a girl, for some reason fled from their home world to an abandoned planet where they can finally enjoy each other's company. Here we are in a cooperative or alone. We will study the landscapes of an unknown world, soar above the ground, holding hands, listen to music, read books and talk a lot on various topics. And in between, you have to uncover the secrets of the planet, which will not be as simple as it seemed at first glance. This is a funny and kind story from which it will be difficult to tear yourself away. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order This game, in the universe of Star Wars, is a metroidvania and offers to move between planets, completing various missions on each of them. Some areas of locations are closed until the hero learns a new skill or receives a gadget that will help him get into a hard-to-reach place. Thus, in order to find all the secrets, you will have to repeatedly return to already visited planets. The game is very beautiful, and the local landscapes and views of the planets are literally breathtaking. It is immediately clear that a huge amount of attention is paid to the setting, details and animation. The Outer Worlds is a first-person role-playing game set in a sci-fi setting that will take us to a futuristic future where megacorporations have begun to explore distant planets. Here we can freely explore five planets moving between them on our spaceship. You can complete the game in several ways, fight openly, crawl around locations in stealth, or negotiate with everyone using diplomacy. Plus, tasks can be completed in different ways, and all decisions made will affect the further plot, the appearance of locations, cities, and even entire planets. Starbound a survival game in a sci-fi setting. Here we find ourselves in space on a damaged ship. In order to survive, we will have to descend to the planets, complete tasks, collect resources, and return to our flying base in order to improve mechanisms and craft new things. The world is generated with great freedom of choice. You can study it alone or with friends. And if you get tired of the endless collection of resources, crafting and exploring the world, then the game has a full-fledged plot. You can complete certain quests, and complete the game, and then start all over again and go through in a different way. Mass Effect Andromeda A semi-open world game set in the Mass Effect universe, set in a brand new galaxy, Andromeda, where the player takes on the role of a pathfinder in the search for a new home for humanity. As you navigate the various planets of Andromeda in your spaceship, you will need to explore its mysteries, make contact with local civilizations, and find a new home. Of course, this is far from the best game in the series, and fans have something to scold the developers for, but if you play it as a separate game, then this is quite an interesting adventure. Returnal this is a hardcore roguelike shooter that will seriously challenge your reflexes and tactical skills. The plot of the game tells about an astronaut who finds herself on a hostile planet and is forced to constantly live a closed loop of time, from which it is impossible to escape even if she dies. Here we have to fight, learn new weapons and skills, die and lose everything we have accumulated but with each new run we become stronger and more experienced. The bonus is beautiful graphics, high quality sound and adaptive control. That's all. Thank you for watching up to this point. Your like and subscription will be the best gratitude. The Image Game channel was with you. Have a good day.